oftentimes as we've journeyed through the Bible, I've really been struck by the timing of how we've looked at certain books of the Bible, certain themes of the Bible, and when they have occurred. Uh, it's always interesting when God works like that. So this last weekend, uh, we just had some visiting missionaries, uh, Sandra and Joyce, who work for International Ministries, and Third John, the letter is really about hosting traveling missionaries. What a coincidence. And our verse for today is verse 6, where the elder writes, um, They have testified to your love before the church. You will do well to send them on in a manner worthy of God. Uh, the issue at the heart of 3rd John is hosting these traveling Christian missionaries and the elder is commending Gaius and the church that uh, he oversees, commending them and, and encouraging them to continue giving assistance to traveling missionaries who were totally dependent on the church. Obviously a traveling Christian missionary didn't want to have to go to non-believers to try to ask them for financial support and hospitality so they had a safe place to stay. So that's at the heart of this letter. And John, or the elder, is saying that that kind of participation uh, in spreading the gospel is part of what we're called to do as a church. So it's really kind of cool that we're reading this letter this week, right after we had a couple of servants for International Ministries stay with us in our parsonage, and we will have another uh, missionary, uh, someone hoping to go into the mission field, who will be visiting our church and staying there later this month. But showing hospitality to strangers has been a fundamental basic Christian behavior from the very beginning. And remember, in the early days of the church, uh, there weren't ten different levels of hotels that uh, a traveler could safely stay at that they could find on their smartphone and make reservations for. Um, things were much more word of mouth uh, and knowing that you could stay with a Christian family, stay at uh, a house church, at the home of someone who hosted a church, uh, that gave missionaries a sense of safety, enabled them to be fed and to gain financial support for spreading the gospel around that whole part of the world. Uh, showing hospitality is something that is not only a part of Middle Eastern culture and the culture in that part of the world in Greece and uh, Turkey where the church was early on spreading, it's something you and I are still called to do today. Uh, because part of hospitality is simply being welcoming. Uh, it's showing kindness to strangers and people we don't even know. And that was one of the values that I grew up with in my home because we often, as I've told you before, uh, had people stay with us from other countries and it's a healthy thing. It helps to enlarge your perspective uh, to meet and listen to and hear the stories of people who have had very different life experiences than you have had. So I encourage you, uh, as a Christian, continue to show hospitality to strangers and to all those you meet.